but when I was when I was a little kid, I, I think the seeds were planted. Uh, each summer, my parents would uh, would rent a cottage in the Catskill Mountains, and we would go every summer religiously, first of July to Labor Day. Uh, we'd drive the whole, you know, take you know, the family up, and we there would be in the mountains for for nine weeks. And it was, and I guess that's where my love of mountains really began. So instead of going to the ocean, we went to the mountains. Uh, and I grew up in New York City. And uh, yeah, as, let me digress a little bit. Again, when I was an undergraduate, we used to go, we used to do field trips. Now, in New York City, it, it's kind of hard to imagine that there are any rocks to be looked at. But surprisingly, there was quite a bit. Uh, we had Central Park, we had uh, up in northern Manhattan, we had, uh, uh, we had uh, Fort Tryon Park and Inwood Park. There were massive parks with great outcrops and the traces of, of glaciers were everywhere. You know, we had Roche Moutonnais, we had uh, striated bedrock and Long Island after all is, is the terminal moraine for the, for the Wisconsin ice, ice sheet. So there was a lot of geology to be seen. And, you know, for example, the, uh, uh, the Hudson River flows between Manhattan and, and uh, New Jersey, and the, the bridge that spans the, the Hudson River is called the George Washington Bridge, and the, the eastern uh, side of it sits on an exhumed pre-Triassic peneplain, and it's right there. And so we could see that, we could see the Palisades across the way, so it was... There's surprisingly a lot of geology, but I remember one field trip, we were looking at some outcrops, and uh, some of the delightful uh, neighborhood uh, folks were, were throwing rocks and bottles at us from above. So that ended that, that field trip rather prematurely. But that's New York. New York is an interesting place.